It's been a while since I haven't cut my hair. And I got a big thing about my hair. Which, this may make me seem like I'm some kind of faggot according to all these other motherfuckers, you know, 2012, you know, hipster people and shit. 11, 12, yeah, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, you know. And we'll let it grow, I like it how it is really long. But I'm gonna cut it all, everything off, I'm gonna cut it all off because, you know, there's a, there's, I would call it in Spanish, a swear, you know. <coughs> yes, I'm talking about family related things, but put them on the internet. Blah, 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 blah. Locations, but clicking, blah, blah. I understand agreement. Okay, yeah, I shouldn't probably put everything and just put, throw it all out there, you know. Because, you know, it's, but, yeah, I, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to talk about it. I mean, if it's freedom of speech, right? Just gotta watch what I say. Well, okay. Just last week, which was August, yeah, August, August 16th. And we are, yes, we're in the third week of August. July is about to, I mean, July is over. September. Third week of August. The 16th, she was, you know, I had a little girl. And today will be the second day that I, oh, wait, she should run over there. Okay, today will be the second day I didn't get to see her. Because they didn't come today, did they? No. no. It was yesterday, right? The day before the before the day before I didn't see her either, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the second day. And I have not seen her. I took the little bracelet off yesterday and now it's on the baby book. I need to take that thing back together real quick because well I need to not back together, but I need to tape it up so you know, scrapbook can look nice. I just took it off the other day. I finally uh got these Dream Act um registration papers filled out. So that that's good right there. That's some good signs. And I got I gotta go to court tomorrow about a speeding ticket and no license. And it, as long as I fix that, we'll be good with the Dream Act as well. And then I'm probably gonna quick job for Saturday and hopefully before Monday, or you know, get a better job. That's what I'm hoping for. And I'll keep praying to that. And I pray that, you know, God protects my little Penelope and Stephanie. And, you know, Lord, bless this family, Lord. Bless our family, Lord. Thank you for my little angel. Thank you, God. Okay. <clears throat> Got a little off subject there. But yeah, this will be the second time I've seen my baby and it's it's a huge deal because I wanna see her. She's my daughter. I wanna take care of her, you know, I wanna change her diapers and wanna grow up and learn her, you know, just just know what the whole thing of children is like rather than just, you know, the casual crying at night and waking up at five, three, two, one in the morning to, you know, do everything and something like that. And getting up and doing that, watching them grow and stuff. I haven't seen it for two days, starting Monday. And then Tuesday. But Tuesday, I saw her for like about 15 minutes because my baby mom brought her over when her mom brought her over. And, yeah. But we didn't, like, you know, get separated at the hospital or, you know. I. I showed up, I was there at the hospital right there, you know, I was in her, I was in the room, and, you know, when she was, when my daughter was coming out, I was there and everything, you know, I been there with her, you know, through pain, through, well, not a lot of pain when I was with her, <laughs> oh, no, yeah, through a lot of pain, too, uh, we went through thick and thin, you know, we had our hardships, we had our moments, but, we're still together, and right now we're trying to get things, you know, situated as well because of the family. Now, so just a little quick summary of what happened during the nine months of our pregnancy. Of our pregnancy, 
Nine months of the pregnancy, I found a job immediately. I had one, was working well and everything. Then, you know, I had another job on the weekends, and that kind of got into each other and was hard, you know, it was hard, but I just couldn't seem to handle it quite yet because, you know, I was trying something new, but I ended up with another job. And then on the way there, you know, about her fifth or sixth, her fifth or sixth month, I ran out of the job I had, you know, because. You know, just life isn't nice. I guess I kind of threw the towel out. But I'm going back in ASAP because my daughter's already here. You know, so through the course of the pregnancy, I had lost my job and hadn't paid the rent for about two months. Right now, I'm at my parents' house, sitting here like a loser, you know, without my daughter. But I know that soon time comes, which I can just get some rest. When time comes, you know, I'm going to be pulling up. I'm going to get my fiancé. I'm going to get my little Penelope. I'm going to get both of them and just walk right out the door without her mom even saying anything because pretty much her mom is, was just not, you know, keeping guests together, which I don't kind of mind at the moment because <clears throat> she has a good home. But then again, I have a good home too. What's wrong about my crib? It's nice. You know, I got things stuff for her for everything, you know, and I can't go see her. Her dad can't be there when, you know, she's got her people coming over. Well, my people want to come over. They can't. When they can, when they can, can't because it's kind of late. Because, you know, she only, her mom wants my parents to show up when she's there. But, you know, and then you can't take the babies out for the first couple of weeks. Well, this Saturday there's an assembly, and she's Jehovah's Witness, which probably, or let you guys know what the situation is going, you know. And, well, and I'll explain a lot more about that later. She wants to take the fiancé and the baby out there, where there's millions of people. So many ways to get sick. But she can't bring her over to my apartment Saturday while she's over there. Because she don't want me seeing her. Yeah, she said, if you don't come over throughout the whole week, you can have her on the weekends. It's Saturday. And she's probably going to change her mind and try to get somebody else to take care of her. Actually, you know, I don't, a lot of people just got giving me stuff saying, you know, it's giving me stuff, just giving me shit saying, dude, look, man, go up there, take your fiance, take your baby, say, you know what, mom, fuck you, you know what, mama, fuck you, here, take 200 bucks, shut the fuck up, let's get out of here, you know, end of story, but no, it does not end that simple, there's, you know, you gotta do some kind of strategic lineup of who you're gonna talk to with first, do what, with why, and how, you know, it's not that simple, gotta be, watch out, because, with, like, my, my cautions right now are, okay, <clears throat> I got a ticket pretty soon. Right now, the Dream Act is going on, and I'm kind of, you know, getting myself, I'm in there, you know, and, with the, you know, court, it's another thing. I just had a baby, you know, with a 16-year-old girl. So, mind you, she is not independent yet. And I'm a 19-year, well, 19-year child, wish. I'm a 20-year-old father now. I just turned 20 this year. And, yeah, it's like, it's like you know, a sad story rape or whatever that they, you know, cli classify it as. But it's not a sad story rape. And why is it going to call rape if, you know, I'm approving that I'm the father? I'm saying I am the daddy, you know? Sign the paper, birth certificate, and everything. Got my name on everything. She got your name and everything. And you know we all got connections. I went with her to her through the appointments, to the appointments and stuff. Took her went every now, every every time we went, always hung out. And just like that, just like I could support her back then and be there with her back then, I can be with her now, even though I'm not, which is ironic because she's over there and I'm here. Soon I'll see her. Soon I'll see her. Just yesterday, my little princess was gone. Last week. <coughs> Sweetheart, I can't wait to see you again and hold you. Hopefully it's not too, I guess you'd say, late. It can't be. I believe you.
always. I love you, Mew.